Hi, I'm Dr. James Doughton, Professor of Business at Middlesex Community College in Lowell, Massachusetts. Today, we will be viewing marketing students at the, our college group presentations. They have labored throughout this semester to come up with a new product idea for the doggy and caddy company. So we have um, went from product conception to product rollout. Thank you for joining us and I trust you will enjoy these excellent student presentations. Uh, good morning. My name is Ryan King, and uh, these are my colleagues. I'm Somali Wolf. I'm Kawen Ronga. I'm Ren Amigal. And our product is H2O's Leashes. It's by the Canine H2O Company, and this is a company started out of uh, Palm Springs, California. We focus on hydrating dogs and products that help the environment, and uh, they're all environmentally friendly. We started in 2014. And it's four of us. We all like we all enjoy walking dogs and hiking and just being active and so do our dogs and we feel that it's very important to keep them hydrated as well as keeping ourselves hydrated. So this is our product. Uh, our factories we started we started in California and mostly stayed around the West Coast, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and then we slowly uh, went uh, east towards Florida and up through New England. And uh, obviously, we expanded across the Atlantic to Morocco, the great country of Morocco. And so, uh, so the product is a it's a leash with like a with a hose that can connect to like a fanny pack, a, a carry bag, uh, or a, for hikers, camelbacks. A camelback is something that you have a hose and you drink from when you're when you're hiking, so you don't have to take off your backpack or waste water bottles. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to conserve water bottles because. Water bottles can wrap around, the plastic you use can wrap around the world three times, which is pretty awesome. <coughs> and uh, the, the, the leash is actually made out of organic hemp, and uh, the hose, which is it kind of like spirals around the leash, is made from medical grain vinyl, which is, which is kind of like a hose, only it's, it's more natural and it's not like that rubbery stuff and it will disintegrate if left outside long enough. There's a steel clip on the, on the end, just like every other dog collar, it just connects to the the chain and the handle on the plat on the, the plastic on the handle is actually recycled as well. So um, the benefits is basically easy access on H two O for the dog. So yeah, you just tap on the handle and there go water for your dog. Yes. Um, it's very environmental friendly. It's ninety nine percent on organic material and uh, I mean like like my partner said, you can throw it outside and it's the um, Bio, the yeah, bio degree. Um, our target audience are all dog owners, especially um, people that like to walk their dogs, like like to hike with their dogs. You know? um, we're gonna focus most of our advertisement online, um, especially on social media like Instagram. Especially if you hashtag H two O, you get a you can have a chance to win a free H two O leash. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, we have a, we also advertise our product a lot on Facebook. So if you like a product, you can also have a chance to win. All right, so that is me. So here's a brochure about our product, just for you guys to pass around. For our promotion strategy, we have people are able to enter a contest on Instagram by hashtagging H2Os with a picture of their dog, and the contest is monthly. And if you enter the contest, you have a chance to win a free H2O's leech and discounts on local pet stores and if you buy, we're also doing this thing, if you buy two H2O's leech you get one half off. And this is our sales forecast. So for the months of January through March, since we are only starting up, we only expect to estimate of selling uh, 400 and making a revenue of 1,500. And then as the months get warmer, when more people actually walk their dogs outside, from April to June, we expected to have an increase 
of sales from two th from 400 to 2,200, and our revenue is going to boom up, and we expect to make uh, roughly around ten thousand dollars. July to September, when the months are starting to cool down, but people are still actively outside with their pets, with their dogs, walking around. We expect to go from 7,500 and make a revenue of 24,000. But then from October through December, we are only expect to sell roughly around 1,000 because of the cold weather. So we only expect to make minimum profit, so $6,500. And this is our pricing strategy. Um, for a small leash, you, it's only eight dollars in the United States. Medium is ten, and large is fifteen. In Morocco, the small is three dollars. Medium is six dollars, and the large is nine dollars, which is all pretty affordable in Morocco. And to translate that into Moroccan dinars, dirhams, it's dirham. Dirhams. Three dollars is sixteen. Six dollars is thirty-two dirhams, and Nine dollars is forty-eight dreams. <coughs> so, product sizing. It can fit a large, medium, and small size dogs. Large for dogs weighing up to two hundred pounds. The medium is for dogs under ninety pounds, and the smalls are for dogs. We're also sold on. We're we're trying to advertise our product on Amazon, Walmart. Target any other retail stores that usually carry pet products. We're gonna try to go move on to actual pet stores, but for now, for our self profit, we're going to sell at retail stores. Straight. We are one of a kind because our product is never made before, and we can establish a stronger market as a product progresses. Branding our branding is um, K9 H2O company, which is our first product as a brand. We'll make sure that the first product will set an example for our future product if we make more products in the future. Our labeling is a, is this, is a recycling label that's going to be on all the leashes because our uh, our leashes are biodegradable and they're made from recycled materials, so it's good to promote recycling. Yeah. Why you should buy this? You could save money in the long run. You could go green, which is eco-friendly, and you could treat your dog to something nice. Okay, so um, questions. And uh, the first question is, I thought you were presenting to the doggy and caddy company. So what company did you say you were in, from Arizona? I mean, you're... Aren't you part of the doggy and caddy company? Yeah, this is this is our own little company that we're, we're kind of branching off. And, that and you work for the doggy and caddy yeah. company? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're working for the doggy and caddy, but we're strictly we're we're focusing partners. on dogs. Yeah. And then we'll test it on to cats when our product sells. Cats don't really. Uh, okay. A <laughs> uh, question is from um, the um, marketing executive board. What? Yeah. That's from <laughs> Flash Art. Would you get that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, Marshalls. Marshalls. I like that. Yeah. I've been marketing Marshalls now. Mm -hmm. um, I have a question. Um, in terms, you said you have a, your product, you have three different types of products, right? For small dogs, medium sized dogs, and large dogs. Yes. Correct? The, the um, um, H2O's leash. Um, out of those three categories, um, did you, um, your sales forecast, you know, reflected an aggregate number? Are you think you're going to sell more to large dogs or small dogs or oh. medium size? Because wouldn't that have a uh, impact on how you, what you're going to manufacture? How many? How many for the small, how many for the medium, how many for the large? Uh, yeah, but I mean it's all made out of the same material and because it's a leash and a hose it's just like the length of it is different so it's all like the same stuff just for every product, every size is just like a little bit more money involved in it because it's just a little bit more material. Right, but for, for sales projection for the 
manufacturing people or distribution, they have to have so much an inventory of the, if you, if you feel that more large dogs need this product than small? Yeah, well, or we, it would probably be medium, because I mean, medium can hold, but it says under 90 pounds. And I mean, there's not many people, the large is under 200 pounds, there's not many people like, that go for hikes with dogs that have 200 pounds, the medium would be the most popular. Oh, okay. So maybe as your marketing team thinks about, maybe you're not going to, maybe it's not profitable to have the large yeah. product. If, if the majority of your sales are gonna come from medium and small. Yeah, that makes sense. We well, would, that's something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. We would uh, market two large and small dogs just hoping we're gonna make the same amount of product as a medium dog, only because when people do buy for their larger dogs, will still be based off the large stock. Yeah. So we'll yeah. always have we'll always have those large leashes until they're sold. Yeah, but see, I think what you have to think about as marketers is that if you have an inventory of stock of, of, of large stuff and it's not turning over, you're losing money. Well, there are always going to be large dogs. Someone's going by. Some pet owner with a dog is going yeah. by. Yeah, but we might cease production for a while. The, the thing with large is that it goes up <coughs> 200 pounds. You can buy a large one and have it be on a small dog. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but you can buy it. If you'd like a, a longer lease, perhaps, yeah. it works. Dogs grow, so. Yeah. Right. But <laughs> when, when you take accounting and you look at inventory turnover, and see, it's all kind of integrated that you're losing money if you don't turn this thing over in 30 days, 90 days, or whatever. It just builds up. So that from a marketing standpoint, you have to direct the company and say, okay, we're going to make X amount of these more and less of these or none of these. And then, then the large dogs can be special orders where you charge an additional fee for special orders. Yeah, we do have that in our, in our paper. Oh, okay. Well, thank you.